Hi there, welcome to No Nonsense Whiskey. My name is Vin Pierre, and on today's episode we're doing another Whiskey In, Whiskey Out, this time for the month of April 2023. Now if you didn't catch my review in, within this last week, you'll, you wouldn't have seen the new set, but this is it, this is the new set. Been working on it, if you're a member of my Discord channel, you'd have seen me kind of like putting this together, but if not, make sure you go and join that because you get lots of access to me and lots of my behind the scenes chat and photos and things like that. It really is the best place, there's even a uh, a special place for patrons to get their early release links directly there as well rather than through uh, patron direct or whatever so if you're interested in that sort of thing make sure you go and check me out down there links in the description below in any case as always we've got another whiskey in whiskey out and as always i'll be doing my whiskeys in first then my whiskeys out and if you're interested in one versus the other you can go and check out the uh, kind of timestamps below and scroll across and find out what you want to get and as always again in the in the description below is links to all of my video reviews for these so if you want a little bit more in-depth knowledge a little bit of tasting notes whatever then you can go and check those out below um, now for the ones that have coming in obviously i won't have done my videos for those yet but you can always check back at a later time if you wish and you will see those links right there ready to go in any case i'm still kind of messing around with this set a little bit so bear with me while i can't actually put them out in front of you but you know one day we'll figure that one out but let's get straight into the whiskey in and see what we got this month now this month was a little bit of a strange one because i only actually bought one bottle of whiskey but i did get four new ones in because i went down to the bilston whiskey club meet and as you you'll have heard this name a lot on the channel but my uh, good friend alex went and he uh, has given me four kind of heel kills, well, three heel kills and a half bottle um, to review on the channel at some point. So I'll probably be getting around to those fairly quickly because there's only dregs left. But as you would have seen this week, my first one is the King's Inch Director's Cut. Um, this one, that was actually the back of the label. The back of the label is fairly similar to the front, so I'll, I'll keep, keep doing that. But yeah, there you go. That's the front if you're interested. Um, this one was an interesting one because when I first popped it, I didn't like it that much, um, but it grew on me and grew on me and grew on me and halfway down the bottle, I'm enjoying that and that's going to go on the shelf now and hopefully it will just keep growing and growing and growing. So yeah, um, really, I probably should put them there while I'm talking about it, but I like to hold them. So I'm just going to chuck this down here out of the way for now until we figure out what we're doing with that in future. Next, we've got a bunch of stuff that I don't really know much about. This is the Toves, Toves Isla. Um, he did tell me where he got this from, but I think it's just like a little supermarket, maybe like, oh, it's an Amazon special. There you go. I did know that. Amazon special. Um, I mean, someone's killed this quite keenly, so there's not much left in it, so it can't be that bad. But yeah, full review of that coming soon. Next up, we have an interesting one. This is a Buffalo Trace, but this is a single barrel select by Milroy's. So that would be an interesting one. Uh, 45%, which is always good. We like to see that. But I'm a big fan of the standard Buffalo Trace. This one was a little bit more expensive, so we'll see what I think of that in due course. But um, yeah, expect that'll actually be, although it's technically not the same whiskey, that'll be the third time I've reviewed a bottle with with actually kind of the same name-ish. Uh, I've done Buffalo Trace, one of the first reviews I ever did, and then I did a re-review of it in 2019. So in 2023, I'll be doing another review, although, you know, like I said, it isn't the same liquid, but we'll get into that. Okay, this one I really don't know anything about. This one is the Samaroli. Samaroli. Uh, Isla Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. It's a Kalila. You know, don't know much about that, but um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll be covering that soon. And by the time I do cover it, I'll know something about it. And then finally then, we have an SMWS bottle. Now this is kind of cool. And I'll go into this a little bit when I do my video of it, but um, I, I'm not a member of the SMWS. And purely the only reason I'm not a member is that um, it would kind of lock me into buying their whiskies and I have to say I've always been impressed with SMWS bottlings you know if you know you if you know if you know the codes you can find them online pretty easy if you know the codes then it's pretty easy to find whiskies that you know you're gonna like if you know you like a particular distillery or a cask type or whatever then it's pretty easy to kind of narrow down on what you might like but yeah um, I I would love to buy their stuff, I really would, but I just I genuinely think that you guys wouldn't be interested in swaths and swaths and swaths of SMWS reviews. So uh, that's why I don't don't subscribe to them because then I'd kind of I'd just want to buy their bottles and then you know I'd be an SMWS channel. <laughs> but yeah, this one here is uh, just in case you're interested. This is the 9.236 Cinnamon Snickerdoodles and Sanded Pine. Opinions on that coming fairly soon. All right then. So that's the whiskey in. 
like I said, a bit of a heavy month on uh, people giving me kind of heel kills to review, which is really cool. I like that. That's helping definitely keep me going. Um, yeah, let's get onto the whiskey out and see what we've got this month. Uh, only four this month. I mean, that's pretty much my going average seems to be. But as I, you know, caveat that always with that, um, I, I take a lot of my bottles down to uh, local clubs and try and kill them there. But two of them were the heel kills from last month's Alex delivery. So yeah, first of all then, we've got the lag. This was the uh, batch number three, heavily peated, X-Red wine, cask, charred cask. Um, pretty good, I thought, pretty good. Um, you know, go and check my review of that one out, but I thought it was pretty good. Elevated prices, yeah, we were getting caught up in the kind of new, the new, new, newy newness, newy newness of it all. And um, yeah, the pricing's a bit ridiculous in my opinion. But like I said on the review, it all sold out. So, you know, what do I know? Um, I'd have never paid that money for that. So I'm glad to actually have been able to review it. Um, conversely, we have the Lockley. I'm sure I've said that wrong. Now that, that's ringing a ring, uh, alarm bells now. I promised myself I wasn't going to do that. Maybe I did say it right. I don't know. Either way, this is the Fallow Edition first crop. Now, conversely, this is uh, not that expensive. I forget exactly how much it is, but about 50 odd quid for a first release from a new distillery doing it properly. Thank you very much. And actually, I was quite impressed by that one. Haven't tried any of the other crops, but I, uh, I should get around to it at some point. You know me, all the whiskey in the world, not enough money, not enough time. But, you know, if it comes my way, I'll figure out a way of reviewing it. Thirdly, then we've got the Heroes and Heretics. This is the classic series, aged 12 years. Uh, Secret Space Side, although um, I have to say I was pretty sure it was a Macallan, but it's uh, it's not a typical Macallan. You know, it, I actually quite enjoyed this, and I don't really get on with Macallan that much, but maybe it wasn't, maybe it was. I genuinely don't know. But actually, that turned out to be a really solid drop for a pretty good price, um, as as all of Heroes and Heretics bottlings are. You know, they, they're they unashamedly not cheap, but when you actually analyse what's in the bottles, you're getting a good price. And again, with the independent bottling, the Firkin uh, Whiskey Co. And this is their Firkin 49, which is a Tullabarden 2012 in an Oloroso and Amatolado cask. Now, they, they do funky casks, so make sure you go and check out my review of that if you want to find out more information about how they do their casks and how, why the kind of like elevated price at £69 is justified. Um, I have to say, having tried quite a lot of Firkins now, this was... This was but you know easily their weakest uh offering but still pretty good um you know this if i was asked gun to head to recommend you a, a firkin to start this wouldn't be it it wouldn't be my third fourth or even probably fifth um i do recommend trying it at some point though because it gives a nice kind of well-rounded view of these things but um really interesting dram um i killed it because uh, i like to keep the special ones i think i've got them somewhere around there there you can see that there yeah, I've got a, a, a few special ones, especially the Altmore, which really started it off for me. But there you go. That's the Whiskey In, Whiskey Out for this month. Hopefully you've enjoyed that. Hopefully you'll uh, you'll want to see some of these reviews. As always, if you want to see me bump up some of the Whiskey Ins up the review list a little bit, I tend to, you know me, I tend to decide each week what I want to do. I don't really have a kind of schedule or anything like that, so I, I chop and change and move things around. But if you want to see something and you want to see it fairly urgently, make sure you comment below let me know and I will try and bring it up for you. In any case, that's me done for another Whiskey and Whiskey Out. I'll see you again next month, and don't forget to check out the reviews in between these videos. Cheers.